Hey guys, um, just a really quick video to let you know what's going on with day patient. Um, I have to be quiet because my mum and my brother are in the house, um, and I get a bit uncomfortable filming with them around. Um, basically, I don't know if I'm doing day patient or not because, um, you can have dislikes and I really... This is the most petty thing, so I don't think I'm being ridiculous because it's kind of, like, it's not principle, but it kind of is principle. Um, basically, I don't like cheese. I've never liked cheese my entire life. Um, I don't eat it. It, like, the taste makes me gag. It makes me just, I don't like it. Like, I really don't like it at all. Um, so I said that to them when they asked what dislikes. I said peanut butter and cheese. Um, and they were like, oh, it's going to be a problem. Now, this was last Tuesday, like, a week ago. It's now Wednesday, so a week and a day ago. Um, so I went away. I went back on Thursday, um, and I talked to the woman. She was like, oh, I was told to mention the cheese thing to you, and I was like, right, okay. She was like, you have to have it. I was like, what do you mean I have to have it? What happened to the three dislikes? She's like, um, yeah, cheese is the only thing you can't have a di as a dislike and you have to have it once a week. And I was like, well, no. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Um, but she was like adamant that I was going to have to. And she was like, if you don't have it, that's called not complying. And if you don't comply, then you can't be on the programme. And I was like, right, so I can't. Right, cool. Um, so she went away, she got the head of day patient, head of day patient comes to speak to me, and it's kind of like, um, we can't have one rule for you and one rule for everyone else, I was like, I'm not asking you to, but at the very least, if I'm gonna have to have it, can I at least have it not as often, or something, um, or I'll have anything that's, you know, the same calorific value, you can give me fair foods instead, like, I don't care, but I'm not having cheese, I hate it, um, I don't intend to start having it now, and it, this kind of went on and on for like 20 minutes um but we neither of us were really getting anywhere um and then I said I said oh I haven't eaten it because I'm nearly 19 I said I haven't eaten it for 19 years and I don't intend to start now and then they started getting picky and she went well if you haven't eaten it for 19 years how can you know you don't like it and I was kind of like you know that's not what I mean like you full well know that's not what I mean so why have you said that? Like, that, it was just little things I was saying that were, like, difficult. Um, and they were like, oh, you can have mild cheddar. I was like, is mild cheddar not cheese? Like, have I been seriously misled to think cheddar is not cheese? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Um, so, yeah, I don't really know what's going on with that. But I was doing a readiness thing. I think I mentioned it in my last video where I went in on Tuesday for breakfast and Thursday for lunch, stuff like that. But I don't know if I'm going to continue, which is fucking ridiculous. I can't do day patient because I don't like cheese. I just think that's stupid. It's like asking a vegetarian to eat meat once a week. Like, yeah, and I did say to them, I was like, I don't want to come and then kick off a fuss because that's going to be really difficult for all the other people that go to the programme and staff and me. Um, and I was like, I also don't want to fall out with my team because I've had a lot of experience at inpatient last time and the day patient program that ran alongside it of arguing with my team and not getting on with them and just fighting um, on top of fighting with myself and my family and my friends. I had to fight with my team and I was like, I'm not doing that again here. I'm just not because it was horrible and it just makes some, everything so much more difficult it makes communication between you both really difficult if you don't have a good working relationship so yeah I don't really know what I'm going to do I still haven't phoned the people about PIP um, I don't know if you guys saw that bitchy comment on my last video um, but whoever left that comment clearly didn't even watch the video because they thought it was in dollars um and basically my entire point about it was how I didn't feel great about doing it 
um, <laughs> didn't want to be on it forever. So ten points to Gryffindor for that person that left that comment. Um, <laughs> but points for trying, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Um, that's the internet for you. What else? Oh, my care coordinator at Community Mental Health is referring me to a personality disorder service. I have no idea what that looks like, what they do, what we're trying to achieve. I don't know. Um, and I got a care plan, like a written out care plan today from her, my case uh, care coordinator. And it was kind of weird. Like there was parts of it that weren't filled in. So like, obviously, so you could tell from reading it that the document was like a set out format and then it had like a little description of what you're supposed to write in each box but some boxes she hadn't deleted it she just left it and like not added anything um and then halfway through it starts talking about some girl called melissa and i was like who the fuck is melissa like trying to think is melissa on my case because it said emily blah 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 emily blah 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 melissa blah 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 and i was like what the fuck so that she'd obviously just copy pasted something because it was about um a crisis referral thing like the number and stuff for them <laughs> so yeah that was interesting um that's really all i have to say um this is not the best format i'm not really gonna edit this i can't be bothered um i'm just kind of in bed <laughs> because i'm sulking i feel a bit shit um i'm not sulking i just feel a bit shit so i just came for a lie down um oh i started new medication they changed my quetiapine to olanzapine and because I was like, oh, like dependent on quetiapine to sleep, I now can't sleep. But obviously, metazapine and lansapine both make me really drowsy. So I'm fucking exhausted because I don't sleep till the early hours of the morning. And then I wake up at like 10, which doesn't sound that bad. But when you fall asleep at 4 and you're only getting 6 hours of sleep every night. Like not even like every now and then. And some people that's fine. But normally for me, if I had the choice, I can sleep for like 13 hours straight um so the other night I went to my dad's and I went to bed at nine didn't get to sleep till three um and then woke up at like 11 which isn't horrendous sorry it's like eight hours sleep but I need a lot of sleep as it is especially if you're on medications that make you really tired anyone that's watching this that's on them will know what I mean they just make you so tired um so I'm hoping once I've been on them for a while it'll level out but it's been about a week without quetiapine um i've been weaning off it um and then i stopped taking it with you know consent of doctors and all that um it's about i've been about a week on olanzapine as well um so i'm just hoping that kind of levels out but i guess we'll see i hope you're all well and i'll talk to you soon um like and subscribe all that normal shit any videos you want to see blah blah blah, blah. um Sorry about the lighting, because normally I film in front of my window, so I get natural lighting because it's better. But it's dark. Um, it's going to be difficult to get good lighting this time of year, because it gets dark very early. Um, like, 4 o'clock in the afternoon now. So, I've just got my like light, which is good for me panda eyes. Um, <laughs> it's a bit shit, but there you go. Um, oh yeah, like I said, I hope you're all well. Um, all that lovely stuff. Uh, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye.